Oh, we're back. What's up, guys? More Stanley Parable. All of his co-workers were gone. What, what could, it, could mean? it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. All right. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yes, maybe I did. All right, so let's let's follow the narrator's choices this time around. So let's go. When to... Stanley came to a set of two. All right, open let's doors, go to the door on the he left. Entered the door on his left. Fantastic. Door on the left it is. Oh wait, what is that? Oh, whatever. Okay, what is this? Yet there was not a single person here either. Tips for not getting fired. Talk less. Do unbelievably amazing work all the time, Stanley every day, with no expectation of promotion or recognition. Don't office, get fired. Hoping he might find oh, an shit. There. <laughs> Let a ball up inside you. Take it out passive aggressively on other co workers. Resent co workers for not resent co workers for not supporting. <laughs> this is fantastic. Oh, oh shit, I want this. Ooh, a broom closet. What is in there? Let's see what's in the broom closet. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was uh -huh. nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. No, 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 he didn't. He's taking a good look at the broom closet first. Ah, oh, little hose. There was and, nothing oh. here. No choice to make. No path to follow. Just uh -huh. an empty broom. No, there's something here. No there's gotta be something. To still be here. No, there's a reason. There's always a reason. Okay, there's always a fucking reason, asshole. Okay. It was uh, baffling that Stanley fucking... was still just sitting in the broom closet. <laughs> He wasn't even doing anything. Okay. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some Well, there's a lot of things, things, okay? You just won't let me. He's just standing there doing sweet F.A. What the hell's F.A.? I don't even know what that is. Shit. Okay, can... Are you... Are you really still in the broom? Okay, party? fine. I'll standing get out. Doing nothing? Jesus. Why? What Please offer you? me some coming to a staircase. <laughs> Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Yeah, but did he, though? Fine, he did. I will follow the narrator this time around because it's okay. What is? Oh, his boss's room is. Hey, uh, Rosita, can I can I please see, boss man, Doctor Mister Boss Man over here, please? Thank you, Rosita. Go kill yourself now, bitch. Yo, you already did. Stepping huh? into his manager's office, uh -huh. Stanley was once again stunned to discover it's... not an indication of Holy any human life. Holy shit! Well, who is Shocked, this shit? Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated Holy this. Holy fuck! What dark secret was being held from him? Oh my god! What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded okay. the terrible truth that Whoa. his boss had been keeping from him. Terrible. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Oh, number extra! To Eight four five. Two eight four five. Yeah. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. No, he couldn't have. No, he couldn't have. So he just tried numbers like eight 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 eight. Oh, oh crap! I forgot the number. Two five four eight. Was it? Stanley simply began entering random codes into the keypad, Two, knowing full four, well five, the sheer eight. statistical unlikelihood that this would Shit, ever Shit, I just completely forgot the number. <laughs> if he knew that the combo was 2845... Okay, 2845, <laughs> thank you, narrator. But no, no, this is what he was getting incredibly by simply oh. pushing random buttons on the keypad. Yes! Stanley happened to input the correct code oh. by sheer luck. Amazing. Yes. He amazing stepped into indeed. the newly opened passageway. Oh. Newly opened passageway. What is up with those paintings? That those make no sense. Now what the hell is up with all these books? Seriously, who the fuck is gonna read all this shit? Huh? I mean seriously, god damn it, moderation man. Jeez. Spooky. Okay, we're going into the elevator. What do you oh we're gonna press this button? Oh, it's always crap. You know uh, things are gonna be shit when there's an electrical discharge that goes off every time you hit a freaking button on an elevator. That's never. That's never good news. Never. Ever. Zero times is that good news. Okay, we're almost loaded. Jesus Christ, this takes a long time to load. Okay. Descending oh. deeper into the building. Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. Oh, did he now? It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, <laughs> as though he felt more free to think for himself, <laughs> to question Ooh, the nature spooky. of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? Oh, that is this very question would not go unanswered for long. Would it not? Did it not? Would would it? Would what? Okay, Stanley, Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Ah, uh, I have I have my doubts, but but okay, narrator, I I trust you, man. 
anything here except for that spooky thing over there. What is this? Oh, the lights? lights rose on an enormous oh, room packed with television crap. screens. Is that what television horrible screen? secret okay. did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Yeah, yeah, he does. He has the strength to find out. No, no. Okay, I'm gonna play Stanley now. I have the strength to find out. Okay. Now the monitors oh. jumped to life. They're what truly the hell crazy. is this? Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. Damn. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. You assholes. You assholes. I will destroy you. Okay, now I want to play the real Stanley. This mind control um, facility it okay, was now. too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the oh, only reason my, he was office. happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Yeah, I'm all right with that. I'm not. I'm not to worry about that. That's okay. No, he refused no, to yeah, believe it. Okay, he couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? No! It was unthinkable. Unthinkable indeed. Was it even possible? It was not Had possible. He impossible. Spent his entire life utterly blind, blind to, to the, the world? world? Okay. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, <gasps> eating, oh my working. God. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over yes. another human life. Damn right, for Stanley. He We're gonna would dismantle kill the controls shit. once and for all. Yes, he will. Press that button, button, Stanley. Stanley, press that button. Damn, Stanley. How are we gonna. How will you? Oh, you go into the facility power and you take it away from her. Mind controls idle, evading input. Fucking asshole. System. And when power. at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation. Yes! Yes! It's over! We did it. Stanley did it. I did it. Everybody did it. We should celebrate. Maybe. Wait, what? Is, 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 there, is there anything else? Black Where's that it? Oh. And a rising chill of uncertainty. Oh, oh. Why Was it over? It, 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 uh -huh. Was it, it. Tell me? Yes. Yeah. He had won. He had. He had defeated the machine. Oh. Unshackled himself from someone else's oh. command. Awesome. Freedom was mere moments away. That's not good. That's not good. And I mean, freedom is even be as shitty. the immense door slowly opened. Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Uh, who gives Where a fuck? Had his co-workers gone. Who gives a shit? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? Who gives a shit? Seriously, but who gives a shit? As sunlight streamed into the chamber, exactly. he realized none of this mattered to him. Exactly. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Oh. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. Oh. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he yeah. lives, it will be his. Yeah! And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Indeed Stanley it was. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley waited for the open door to open completely. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility Beautiful. of the new path before Everything. him. Everything this is was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. Yeah. And Stanley was happy. Oh, Stanley, you happy shithead. Sorry. That was not that was not that was not nice.